Hi everyone, this is May Brock from TradeNet. Welcome to my live trading session and please like that video if you do. Now, let's take a look at the S&P 500 at the beginning of the trading session. As you can see, it is moving lower. Always look at the S&P in five minute candles and now we've got a gap and go. It's moving lower. The S&P is down 0.8%. Nasdaq is down 1%. I'm looking for stocks which are relatively weak. I found coin and I'm shorting here 2000 shares. It's moving down. It's down 9%. Tesla is down 4%, it's moving lower, nice bear flag, and I'm shorting here 2,000 shares expecting a new breakdown under the lows, and it did. Microsoft does the same, it's at the lows, and I'm shorting 2,000 shares expecting it to continue with the S&P 500. Same idea for Boeing. Boeing is down 1%, I'm shorting 2,000 shares expecting it to continue. Now, take a look at the perspective of my trading main monitor. That's how I watch my trading session. You can see that I'm watching the four stocks I just moved into. I've got uh, 400 winners so far in coin and uh, Boeing is down $300. Microsoft is up $600. Tesla is down $300. At the bottom, I'm watching the S&P and the Nasdaq in five minute candles because that's a perspective of the institutional traders and that's what you should be watching at all times because the S&P dictates the direction of the stocks that you will be trading. 60% of the movement of the stocks that you trade comes from the S&P 500. Now I'm watching all of them. I'm watching the buyers and the sellers. I'm watching the P&L and it seems to me like Tesla is about to get to my target real soon. Now Tesla is moving lower. I'm already up $1,700, $1,800. I'm taking my profits here, leaving 200 shares. I'm closing my Microsoft trade and I'm looking at the S&P 500. Always go back to the S&P. The S&P is still down and that helps coin move to a new low. I added 2,000 shares earlier in coin. Now I'm up $3,000 and it keeps moving lower. I'm taking my profits here, leaving 400 shares. That was a great trade. The only one that does not participate in the game is Boeing. Now I'm, I'm green in Boeing. I'm up three, four hundred, six hundred dollars and the S&P is at the lows. Now I'm concerned. I'm concerned because the S&P is too extended to the downside. When the S&P is too extended to the downside, you expect a pullback. When there is a pullback, stocks will pull back up and I may have missed my chance to take a profit in Boeing. Now you see the green candle in the S&P. That's a very bad sign. Now let's take a look at Boeing and see how it responded to the fact that the S&P moved higher. I'm down. I'm down $2,400. It reached my stop loss and I'm moving out of my bond trade right over here. Can't have only winners. Now, just 21 minutes into the trading session and I'm up $3,600. I've got one loser in Boeing and three winners. It's a perfect start for my trading session. Always remember, look at the S&P and go with the S&P. If the S&P is trending lower, short stocks. If the S&P is moving higher, Consider going long. It depends on what's the trend and not only the trend, but also how strong is the trend. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a like right here below. It helps my channel and helps more people like you enjoy and learn a little bit more about day trading. There's a subscribe button right over here. Hit on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. Also, there's a link right here below to a free trial in my trading room. Join me because that's where I call all of my trades each and every day live. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.